Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing so that you do not miss future videos. Uh, like this video, that's the only way to motivate me to keep sharing the knowledge that I share for free. If you are looking to download Forex books, Forex indicators, uh, robots, uh, and stuff like that, uh, there are links in the description box below. Uh, visit those blogs and see if you cannot find what you're looking for. Everything is there is for free. Everything there is for free. You can always leave a request in the comment section below if you cannot find what you are looking for. And I'll definitely try my best to look for the stuff for you. Okay, so let's get into today's video. German 40. I'm going to be doing a series of videos on how you can best make money on German 40. I believe it's one of those uh, indices that most people do not talk about or very few people talk about. But you can also make money with them. Uh, German 40 uh, recently they were changed to German 40 in September, on the 20th of September, uh, when the former German 30 uh, index actually added 10 more companies to make it uh, German 40. So we'll definitely be looking into how you can make money on German 40 in the next couple of videos so you need to stick around and watch the videos uh, you can learn one or two things of course many people try to focus on us 30 or nas 100 uh, s p 500 but very few very few people actually realize that you can also actually make a lot of money trading german 40 which is what i've been uh, doing lately uh, the advantage of uh, German 40 uh, is that you also do not need a lot of money in your account. And like, for example, if you're going to be trading something like NAS 100, NASDAQ 100, or if you're going to be trading something like US 30, which is very volatile, uh, German 40, I'm tempted to say German 30 because I've, I've been used to trading it as German 30. Now it's German 40. So it's, it usually doesn't require you to have this lump sum uh, in your account in order to be able to trade it. And it's not usually as volatile as um, NAS 100 uh, when you are actually trading it. But it's equally profitable. Uh, Germany, uh, the German economy is actually the biggest economy in Europe and has some of the biggest companies technology-wise, uh, uh, auto, uh, auto companies like BMW, uh, some of the uh, biggest companies uh, in the world, they are actually based in Germany. That's why the German 40 is like a cousin of uh, NAS 100. Uh, US 30, S&P 500 or stuff like that. Of course, there are other indices that you might want to uh, also watch. For example, you also want to watch UK 100. If you are going to be trading indices, if you're going to be focusing on indices exclusively, uh, there are many. Uh, there are many that you can actually trade. Uh, in Europe, uh, I primarily look at UK 100 and German 40. For obvious reasons, German 40 is Germany, the biggest economy in Europe. And the UK 100, obviously, London is a major financial center in the world. I do not exactly look at like Italian, is it Italian 50 or those other uh, indices. I know maybe people might try to trade those. The problem with those is, let's see, let me show you. Let's look for symbols. Okay, Italian 40. Let's show that. You see there is uh spanish uh is spain 35 
let me just put this on my chart for example why i actually stay away from them um okay uh, i didn't want to put all of these on, on the chart but uh i just want to show you something why you need to actually be careful when you are choosing these indices okay so those are all the indices that are uh, offered by my broker uh, which is xm uh, link is in the description box below um okay so this is uh german 40 let's change the chart a bit just to show you why i do not uh, trade most of the other indices so this is italian 40 same time frame you can see why i do not touch it <laughs> these gaps so you find that uh some of these indices they gap around a lot they gap around a lot let's go to 15 minute time frame or 30 minute uh chart you see this is italian 40 you cannot trade this you cannot trade this let's go to uh, spain uh 35 you can see same characteristics let's go to uh, france 40 the same characteristics euro 50 definitely same deal australian 200 i know these uh, gaps but it, the gaps are not as violent as the european indices so uh, the australian 200 you might want to look at it this is um the hong kong 50. you might want to put it on your charts if you really really want to this is one of the other ones that i'm currently studying is the japanese uh, uh 225 it basically gaps sometimes but most of the time is moving around nicely so it's just uh because i also want to have uh, indices in different time zones that's why i am focusing on this this is netherlands netherlands 25 this is the swiss 20 cash so this i do not really touch what i usually focus on what i'm what i've been trading is actually german 40 uh, used to be german 30 you can see how it moves you can see it's a clean chart let me zoom out a bit it's a clean chart no gaps no unpredictable turns it just moves around like your normal pair same deal with uk 100 same deal with uk 100 it does not gap if it gaps it happens here and there but basically it just moves around like your normal pair and that's the same deal with japanese 225 it gaps here and there it gaps like here there is a gap there but most of the time it's just going about its way like a normal pair and i've observed that uh, japanese uh 225 uh, the index and German 40 you do not really need uh, a lot of money in your account to be able to trade this like I said the goal is to actually have an index for each trading session if it's a session then obviously uh, I would focus on uh, uh, Japanese 2 to 5 uh whereas if it's forex some people are focusing on uh usd jpy for example or gold um well i'll be focusing on uh uh 
the JP225 as an uh, index. Then come London session, I am basically looking at I'm basically looking at UK 100 and German 40, especially German 40. I've been milking German 40 and I've kind of understood how it works. Um, but I'll explain this in the videos that are coming out. You can actually make money with German 40. And also maybe I'll touch on UK 100. I said Japanese 225, I'm still uh, uh, playing around with it so what does that what does this mean uh, basically what it means is uh, if you already trade nas 100 uh, at uh, new york session you do not basically have to sit on your palm the rest of the day until uh well depending on the time zone on your time zone but you don't basically uh, need to just uh, sit on your bum and not do anything uh, waiting for a New York session when uh, uh, NAS 100 and the uh, New York uh, indices uh, technically open you can in the meantime uh, do other indices European session German, German 40, you can 100. Uh, Asian session, you can do uh, the JP225. So basically, you have got a sort of uh, round the clock uh, system that you can actually use to make money. So, yeah, uh, we are going to look into how we can make money with these indices in the coming videos. If you have questions concerning these indices, leave them in the comment section below so that we can help each other. If you have been trading German 40 or German 30 when it was still German 30 and you have uh, issues with it or play, uh, things that you want me to touch on in the coming videos, then definitely uh, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Until next time, bye.